I don't know about y'all, but I am so excited. Me too. You know, it's, it's one thing to um, get a plane off the ground, but you need to make sure you land it right. And this conference has landed right. Uh, and those of you who were in the last part of this conference, uh, just a few, uh, uh, an hour ago, uh, if you didn't land right, you need to go back and recycle. <laughs> but we just want to thank everybody for what they've done. We get into the particulars uh, later. But I want to introduce Mr. Zane Major. And he is going to give you a welcome. He is the grandson of the great Herman Russell. Yeah. 
black organization leaders, I believe we have uh, Mr. Coleman from the Black Chamber. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It is truly a pleasure and an honor to be able to have this opportunity to speak to everybody in this room. My name is Melvin Cohen. I'm the executive director of the Atlanta Black Chambers. And I welcome all of you who are new to Atlanta. Atlanta is a global hub of entrepreneurship. Everything that's big in Atlanta is going to be big, big in the black community. Our legacy, our rich history of black entrepreneurs. If you haven't been across the street to the H.J. Russell Innovation Center of Entrepreneurs, that's a very special place. And we are building and owning and controlling the future for the next generation of black entrepreneurs. Competitive, profitable, and sustainable black owned entities is what the Atlanta Black Chambers is all about. Sustainability is the principal thing. So let's build it together. Let's build it right and make sure that it is sustainable for future generations. Thank you. And for those of you that I, who I have not met, I look forward to meeting you in person. Thank you. Brother. Special gratitude to Mary Seven, 
Marie, you so select me as candidate. that we have to come to bridge the gap. Because we have been working so hard in the continent, trying to make ends meet, trying to make sure that we really reduce the gap. Not just the digital gap, but the physical gap. Because we need to know that you know that what we are doing in the continent. And we need to know that you understand what we are doing. And we need to know who are the right people to talk to in the continent. That is why we created the African Chamber of Trade and Commerce, which is a tool, which is a vehicle, that identifies sectors of activity where we have experts working to make sure that the issues that worry the continent, the issues of development are actually advocated within governments, within institutions, and with development partners so that we are able to address the issues squarely and have results. We are tired of conferences, we are tired of meetings, we are tired of money moving around the world, but we don't see results in the continent. So we are thinking that the time is right for us to talk, and not only to talk, but to see things happening. And I'm grateful to be here. It's not a big conference, but the people that I've met here during this conference are very important persons. In fact, last week when I was speaking, I was so tired, but I was sleeping. But in the middle of my sleep, I heard something. I realized there's somebody who comes from skill. It's not about the education. It's not about how many diplomas you have. It's about what talent you carry and how that talent propels you to be an individual and a, an important personality in society. And you carry yourself confidently to address people who are scholars, who have all the degrees, but who produce nothing for society. We are tired.
So my dad didn't have a side in my So because he cannot do that, he sent me to work. <coughs> and I hate it. Every time he sent me somewhere, I hate it. And later on, now I'm doing business. Something I always hate. I didn't realize that I was having a lot of networking. So I can work with multiple countries at the same time. Because I don't follow the rules. I'm an adult. <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> and I'm proud of it because I bring success. I'm not going to sugarcoat you. I'm not going to tell you this story. I have my feet in the dark, in the moon, everywhere. So I stay on the ground, get the permit, get the proof that what is sent me is real. I'm somebody that nobody liked in the beginning, but you like me every day.
but this person is a legacy in Atlanta in a lot of different ways. Um, she is the co-owner and founder of Bussy Flores. She's the first female president of the Atlanta Business League in 1989. The visionary for the Atlanta's first black trade mission in 1989 with 45 businesses led by Ambassador Andrew Young. This, this lady um, is so tall that she really can't even fit in this room. And when I say tall, I mean she takes up a lot of space in terms of the people that she has impacted in her lifetime. I want to introduce to you my friend, my queen, Miss Alice Blessing. Dr. Alice Blessing. 